Hi everybody, I'm Father Tom Weisberger and I welcome you to our bi-weekly parish update. I wish everyone a happy new year. We made it. You know, it's after all this crazy time that we're going through, we're into 2021 and hopefully these are quiet times for everybody. We get to kind of relax a little bit as we start the new year and get onto uh, new things and catch our breath a little bit and, and move on. But let's just praise God and thank Him that we made it. I'd also like to thank all of you who have been so generous to in your contributions to our St. James Parish in 2020. Um, our Christmas and end of year giving went very well and we have been so blessed and we again thank you so much for your generosity. I'd also, also like to thank those who have been donated to our Archdiocese Annual Appeal. We're at 88,000 of our 95,000 goal. We're 92 and a half percent of the way there. Uh, we're getting so close. I encourage everyone to go ahead and, and uh, make your contribution so we can make our goal and, and move on in that direction also. St. James Seton School is back in session and things are going very well. So we hope all our families, teachers and staff and students can remain healthy and we can continue with in-person classes for the rest of the school year. Catholic Schools Week is coming up starting on January 31st and the plans are being made to celebrate it in an appropriate way this year. Stay tuned and we'll give you more details later. January is typically a pro-life month and there's many pro-life activities happening this, this month. There's a pro-life mass and walk for life going on on Saturday, January 16th at St. Mary's in Lincoln starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. And then after Mass, the Walk for Life starts 10 o'clock on the north steps of the state capitol, which apparently is very close to the St. Mary's. More details are on this, uh, this week's bulletin on page 7. There's actually the 47th Annual Celebration of Life event the night before the Walk for Life. In other words, on Friday, January 15th. It will be a virtual event this year, which is kind of sad. I've really enjoyed going to those in the past, but this year it's, uh, it's different. The keynote speaker will be Archbishop Joseph Nauman of the Archdiocese of Kansas City, Kansas. There's several other speakers, including Governor Ricketts from Nebraska, uh, to figure out the details for registering and timing. Look for it in this upcoming week's bulletin. Unfortunately, the Thomas More Society presentation schedule here at St. James on the, the Monday that, that following week January 18th featuring Jennifer Roback Morse has been canceled because of COVID. So, you know, it's, we just, uh, it's a real privilege to have it here at St. James, but, uh, and hopefully they will reschedule that sometime in early spring. Speaking of pro-life, there have been some questions raised about the ethical appropriateness of the different vaccines that are available out there for all of us uh, to get over that COVID-19 pandemic and whether we Catholics should be vaccinated or not. The simple answer is yes, we should get vaccinated. Even Pope Francis has said this. The two vaccines that are going around now, Pfizer and Moderna, are both uh, ethically acceptable. They're not from uh, aborted fetal tissue issue of fetal cells. And so we do encourage everyone to get the vaccination as, as you're able to do that. The one other topic I have today is to keep your eyes on the weather. I mean, this is January, this is Nebraska, and so there's um, all kinds of crazy things that happen out there and you know we try to keep our lot our parking lot clear our, par our sidewalks clear and all this uh, we can't always do that and it's, I, mean, I see this the walk we have now that the plows from the street have pushed all back up on the sidewalk and you know it's also the changing temperatures can freeze stuff up in just a moment and so what was safe just a moment ago can be slippery now so I encourage everyone to take responsibility and be very careful about your own walking out there and we'll do the best we can and, and hopefully we'll all keep safe. To conclude, let's keep our prayers going so that this COVID-19 pandemic will be over soon and all those who are sick will get better and the rest of us will be able to keep healthy and safe. May Jesus, Mary and St. Joseph be with us in these difficult times. We do ask Jesus, we trust in you, keep us safe. Let's keep praying, that's how we can win this battle. And again, I thank you for turning in today and I ask God's blessings upon all of you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.